This is my hometown. I'm a New York native. Um, my Many of my friends and my family will see the movie for the first time tonight. Um, it, it actually feels very overwhelming. Um, it's really moving and very humbling to actually share what you make with your own community. Um, it's been incredible to be able to share it with people across the country and abroad, but this is a very special night for me. People have asked me, like, was that, were you working for her? Was she working for you, producer, actor? Um, the feeling has always been so clearly that we are working together for the film. Um, she is just an unbelievable right-hand woman. She was my co-pilot in every sense, every aspect of this film, and I, uh, the, the privilege and pleasure of that is not lost on me. I was blessed with such astonishing riches in this company of actors, um, every single one of them. Um, you know, the entire supporting cast in this film, they are people that I knew from the New York theater community. And um, there was such joyousness in feeling that at home on set. Um, so um, I feel really honored to have been spoken of in any remotely positive lens by them. I, I really worship these actors. I admire them so profoundly. And I'm sort of ecstatic that many of them are here tonight actually together for the first time in the course of this movie's life. Certainly for any veteran or service member who sees this film, um, it's certainly among my great, great hopes for this film that um, they might see some truth reflected back to them and that that recognition might have some small value um, more broadly. Um, some awareness or heightened awareness that um, Recovery and healing are not necessarily linear processes, that no two recovery processes necessarily look alike, and that um, meaningful change of any kind is often charted in steps that can look very small from the outside, but are nonetheless hard fought, difficult, and involve a lot of resilience.